Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. This is Jose, the California, the California beekeeper. I'm going to show you guys uh, how I mark queens. Um, they have so many tools out there, so just different ways. Um, I like to use my hands. I'm going to show you how that's done. All right. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a big thumbs up on this video. So these, uh, there's regular hives around here. So I'm gonna put on my veil and do things comfortably and just go after it. Go after it. Just go after it. So let's do it. Oh. All right, what we got going on here is what I call a deep body nook. And whenever we have extra cells, we don't like to throw them away or let them go to waste. So what I do is I will go to a booming hive. And when I say a booming hive, a booming hive is a colony that is explosive, has a lot of nurse bees, a lot of resources, plenty of frames of brood that we're able to take from without affecting that colony. So I'll take those two frames of brood, bring them over to a hive body like this, place them in there, put my queen cell in between those two frames of brood, allowing the bees to keep that cell warm until it hatches. Once it hatches, we'll come back, um, obviously after the mating flight, to queen spot. How I like to queen spot on these larger frames is I'll keep it a good distance from my face. Seems to have that queen stand out just a little bit more, you know? It works for me, this method works for me. And going through these frames, these larger frames, covering that bigger area compared to those mini nooks, just seems to work better. Um, you might have to go in through them once or twice, but this method just seems to work a whole lot better holding that frame at a good distance from your face. I don't like wearing my veil and handling these big old frames, but I assume she's a little darker. Tiger tail. But no, I'm wrong. She's a blonde. First frame I pulled out. <laughs> A little Italian. So, there she is. Let's put this frame back in really fast. Okay, once you have your queen in position, whether it's your fingers, whether it's a painting tool, how I like to do it is I like to go in a circular motion circular motion applying just enough pressure in back of that thorax to get a good amount of paint on them. The reason why we like to paint them very well is we like to keep track of the longevity, the lifespan of that queen bee because if you do have a breeding program or just want to know how long your queen is living, painting them is pretty important. And we paint all of our queens because if there is 
a candidate to be a breeder, we want to know how old she is. And that is how I mark my queens. And we'll come back and we'll place a cell and uh, leave that cell as just the final product. I'll let it mate and start filling out and crank the feed and uh, stack it as soon as it's needed. All right, so here I have the queen. I usually just grab her by the wings, like so. Then I allow her to grab my finger. Once that happens, I'll get that little guy away. Um, I'll grab my uh, marker. And, uh, I'll grab that real quick. So, we have our marker. 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 And our queen. So, reposition her. Let her grab your fingers. Yeah, shake it up really good. And I'll tap it on a surface just to make sure that there's uh, ink coming out. And uh, we'll give her a little marking, just like so. And you can do it as big as you want, uh, small. You can even get creative little smiley face so but it's pretty simple just like so you can move her around grab her wings and uh, move from finger to finger just like so and we'll place her back in the hive Thanks for watching. if you decide to paint your queen by hand and you want to get her back in worried about her flying away how I like to do it is I will grab that queen, place her as close to that frame as possible, and just allow her to walk right up onto that frame. All right, guys. That was uh, that was pretty much it for the video on how to paint a queen. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button, and give us a big thumbs up on this video. We appreciate your support. Thank you for watching.